Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I'm so excited for today's video and I hope you guys are too. It's been a long time in the making and I thank you so much for your patience if you have been waiting for this one. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my full review on the Nira at home laser device. This is a non-ablative, non-fractional laser that you can use at home. It's FDA cleared for treatment of periorbital wrinkles, which means the wrinkles around the eyes. Now it can be used on other parts of your face and I did use it on other parts of my face but the FDA clearance part is for eye wrinkles so it's been shown to be safe and effective for those wrinkles and who doesn't want wrinkle reduction around their eyes especially because as you guys know that's one of the first places that our skin starts to show the visible signs of aging because of course that skin moves we squint we smile and wrinkles start forming pretty early on and a lot of the topical treatments you know skincare that you can put on there and even in office treatments don't really have a great solution for wrinkles around the eye area i mean of course you can get botox in your crow's feet but you can't really get it to treat the wrinkles underneath your eye directly under and so there's very little that you can do that can actually treat those wrinkles and so when i heard about this laser and saw the before and after pictures on the Nero website from their clinical study that they did that showed a reduction in the wrinkles under the eyes as well as the crow's feet I was like yeah I definitely want to give that device a try I'm hoping for great things on me but as you guys know I try a lot of devices and quite often they don't pan out and so I'm always looking for something that really does. For me, a device has to be easy to use, it can't take up a ton of time, and it can't be painful. And it's also gotta show me some results. And you know, spoiler alert for this one, I've already done some early before and what I called almost after pictures in my Black Friday video because at that point I wasn't finished with the full 90 days of testing. I was only about 65 days in on it then, but Nira does say that you should start to see results within 60 days and full results after 90 days. And so I went ahead and took the pictures after like 65 days, put them in that video because it was on sale then. I had a really great discount, 50% off and so many people wanted to know if they should buy it. I was really impressed with what I saw in the before and after pictures, and I went ahead and put them in the video, said, hey, I'm giving it the Angie seal of approval. At that point, I still had a month of testing to go to get to the 90 days on this device, and I was planning on putting up the full review for you guys sooner, but because of the tremendous demand that was created from the 50% off, plus my before and after pictures, plus I have a pretty large audience here, you guys completely sold them out. You sold them out months into the future. They put on second and third shifts with customer service and with their production line to start cranking them out faster. But in the immediate aftermath after Black Friday, their customer service was not ramped up to deal with the volume of people who were wondering where their device was and who were getting suspicious of the company. And uh, if you already know all this and you wanna skip ahead to the other parts of the video, this might be a little bit of a long explanation, but I do feel like I need to explain what happened. So I'll put uh, time codes down here so that you can skip ahead. But anyway, their customer service was overwhelmed, their production line was overwhelmed, and they couldn't get responses to people quick enough to let them know that that was what was happening. And unfortunately, it created a lot of bad feelings with some customers who placed their orders because of my video. You know, people get mad at me because, you know, they think I haven't vetted the company and that this is a, some kind of a shady organization and they're ripping them off. I do try to vet the companies that I do recommend the products to you. You know, I check to see if they're FDA cleared. When they say they're FDA cleared, I actually look up their FDA clearance notice to make sure that they really are. And they were really FDA cleared. They are a real company. They've been doing business for quite a few years. They have so many other influencers have recommended their products with absolutely no problems. You know, they're a small business and they had no idea the amount of orders that they would get or how overwhelmed everything would be. So I understand that there are still people waiting for their devices and I apologize 
apologize for that. I did speak to the people at Nero to make sure that my viewers who ordered back on Black Friday are at the front of the list. Every time a new device comes off the line that is going to one of my viewers from Black Friday so that you will get your device first. But if you are still waiting, I do apologize. Um, hopefully they will be there soon. They were trying to make every effort to get them out to you. Ideally, I would have wanted to wait to put this video up at least a few more weeks until everybody had them and everybody was happy, but not putting the video up, I was hearing from people, was also causing a little bit of suspicion, you know, like, was it a cash grab between me and the company? Were we just trying to like get your money and then not get, deliver you a device? And oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> there's no way that I wanna be involved in something like that, nor do I think the company wants to be involved in something like that. They do have a 90 day money back guarantee. And the 90 days doesn't start from the day you ordered it, it starts from the day you receive it. So even if you have been waiting a while, you don't have to worry, you can still return it. If you ordered at Black Friday and you're just sick of waiting, you want to cancel your order, that's fine. You can cancel your order. Customer service is there now, you know, ramped up, staffed up to help you with that. But the only thing I would say is that they're not going to be offering the 50% off discount code in the foreseeable future, as far as I know. And the discount code I have for you today, way less than that. So if you were able to get it for the 50% off and you can wait a couple more weeks, I personally, if it were me, I would wait for it, but obviously you can decide what you want to do. No hard feelings either way. You cancel your order. It's fine with me. It's fine with them. So that's what happened around Black Friday. Let me make it perfectly clear in case you missed it in that part that if you're watching this video today, which is early to mid February of 2023, the device is currently sold out. So if you were to use my link and want to buy one, you'll go to the website. The first thing you'll see is that it is sold out right now and that you're going to be waiting five five to seven weeks to get it. Okay, so just wanna make that clear to everybody right up front. So let's get back to the review. The Nero retails for $399 for just the device. It does come with a charger. You can get a bundle, which is $412, and that includes a bottle of their hyaluronic acid serum. The discount code, sadly, this time is not 50%. They've reduced it to 15%. There is a link in the info box to use to get that 15% off, but this is not a sponsored video. Have I mentioned that already? I generally just don't don't take sponsorships when I'm testing a device. So this is a non-fractional, non-ablative laser. What do those mean? Ablative means that it removes the surface of your skin. So non-ablative means that it doesn't remove or destroy any skin cells. Non-fractional means that it also doesn't drill little holes in your skin that destroy skin cells as well. That's how a laser treatment that you would get done in a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon's office would work. Those machines are much more powerful than this, obviously, because this is for at-home use. They have to tone down the heat and the power so that you can use it. So instead of vaporizing the surface of your skin or columns of your skin, instead it gently heats up the dermal layers of your skin and that causes some collagen production, which then reduces your fine lines and wrinkles. Now, the wavelength on this is 1450 nanometers, and it delivers 2.2 to 3 joules per centimeter squared of energy per pulse. The wavelength that Nira uses is absorbed by water in the skin. So this is not looking for color in the skin to work. It targets the water in your skin. So it's safe to use for people of different skin tones, lighter or darker. To use the device, you press the on button and then you toggle the power setting from one to five, depending on your skin sensitivity. It won't fire if it's not in contact with skin and you'll hear the misfire tone. It has a series of tones. It'll let you know if it's fired correctly or if there was a misfire. If there's a misfire, then you can treat that one spot again. But if you've heard the tone indicating that it fired correctly, then you move the laser on to another spot. So to treat your under eyes, they recommend 40 pulses underneath each eye in a line from say the inner corner to the outer corner and doing three different rows. When you get to the end of 40 pulses, there is a little chime that will jingle to tell you it's time to move on to the other eye. Now, if it misfires, it doesn't count that pulse. So it does the counting for you. You don't have to do the counting. The time it takes to do 40 pulses for me is about a minute. So I can treat both my eyes in two minutes. And that is really good news because I like 
like a device that I can use super quickly. I don't like things that take, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm rubbing it around my face, my arm's getting tired. Those don't work for me. This is quick, it's relatively painless, and it's very easy to use. This holds a charge for a really long time. The first time I charged it up, I didn't need to recharge it until after I had used it for a full three months, using it every single night, mainly on level four. So it really charges up well. You don't have to be charging it every five seconds. It's recommended that you start at a lower level and work your way up. When I started using it, I started on level one. I found that to be really comfortable, no pain at all. I quickly ramped up through level two, level three, up to level four. Tried level five, it was definitely too hot and a little ouchy for me, especially around my eyes. So back down to level four. I find level four to be warm, but not uncomfortable. But any level that you are using it at that you find to be just too hot, don't use it at that level. I would recommend using it at a more comfortable level than at a level where you're like, oh my gosh, this really hurts. I don't like using it. Because if you don't like using it and it hurts, you're not gonna continue to use it. And as I always say about these devices, they don't work if they lay in a drawer, right? They just don't. If they're gathering dust and you're not actually applying it to your face, you're never going to see the results. So you want to be able to use it. So it's okay to back it off and use it at a lower level. Use it safely. Don't be in a hurry. You know, start slow, ramp up. Even though this is FDA cleared for use around the eyes, I went ahead and used it on other parts of my face. For this trial, I was using it underneath my eyes. I was also using it here in my nasal labial folds. I was working on skin above Above my lip and I also used it here on my hooded eyelids and I was also using it here on the skin of my chin to the sides of my mouth where I have a lot of really ripply skin so I was using this all over my face <laughs> but it still didn't take a ton of time so I would do like under this eye would be one minute under this eye would be another minute then I do like this whole area that would be another minute, this whole area, another minute, and then I would take one more minute, divide the 40 up, do like 10 up here, 10 up here, 10 here, and 10 here. And that would be a five minute treatment. I love it that you just use it on dry skin, and then you go ahead and put on your moisturizer and the rest of your skincare routine right after you're done using it. A lot of people wanted me to include how I work this into my skincare routine with my other gadgets. As a lot of you guys know, I do have two other devices that I love and that I use consistently and have used consistently over the years. Out of the, I don't know what, 100 gadgets that I've tried, there's literally two. <laughs> and now maybe three, that I'm gonna use consistently. When I'm doing a trial on something, I don't tend to use my other devices if they're going to have an effect on the skin in that area. So I wasn't really using my new face or my Omnilux masks much during this time. It was five months, which was difficult to not use them at all. And I did use them a little bit here and there, but when I was ramping up to do the after pictures, I stopped using them a little bit beforehand. But just so that you know, the way that I would work it into my skincare routine is those two gadgets I do in the mornings and I do them on alternating mornings. So this I do at night so that it's not in the way of my other gadgets and it's not taking more time out of my morning. Now you can use this twice a day if you want. You can use it morning and night if you can fit it into your schedule. I just used it once a day. That's how I will be working it into my routine with my other gadgets. So I think I've given you all the relative and pertinent information on how it works, what my experience was like with it, how I use it, what I generally think of it, what happened with it before. And so I guess it's time to do the before and after pictures. All right, let me give you my photo disclaimer like I always do, which is that I don't test the device in a clinical setting. I'm just a regular person trying it here in my home. I also take the pictures in an at-home setting. I do try to keep the lighting consistent. I do keep the camera consistent and the angle of my face. I try to keep everything the same, but of course I'm taking the pictures three or five months apart. And of course I move. They are not retouched. There are no filters used. There may be differences in the focus. That's not a filter. That's just depth of field with the camera. I'm trying to make sure that I'm matching the amount of smile because of course 
Oh my gosh, that makes a huge difference in how your wrinkles look. The other thing to note is that I don't have any Botox in my face at all in the before pictures or in the after pictures. When I test gadgets, I always let my Botox wear off so there is no Botox involved in any way. No fillers, no anything. I don't change anything in my skincare routine. So this first picture is from the Black Friday video and shows the results I had after 67 days of using the Nera, which I was pretty darn impressed with. I'm not smiling in this one. This is just my wrinkles at rest and there's definitely a little improvement in both my crow's feet and my under eye wrinkles. Here's the same before picture but swapping in the after five months picture. Again, no expression and no Botox and here I see an even bigger improvement in my crow's feet and under eye wrinkles. I feel like the wrinkles are less deep and also shorter in length and my crow's feet seem to have really gotten a lot smaller. Here's the same set of pictures just zoomed in closer on the eye area and wow these kinds of results really just blow me away. I have to say this is way better than I was expecting. Here's the other eye from the Black Friday video showing an improvement under the eye and in the crow's feet as well as in my nasal labial folds. And now the same before with the new after from this week. I felt like the smile in the 67 days picture may have been slightly smaller, so I tried to smile bigger and pull up the corner of my mouth a little bit more in the five months after picture. If we zoom in on this picture, we can see that the wrinkles are shorter and much, much less deep. Here is a smiling picture from the front, and in this picture, I feel like my nasal labial folds look so much less deep than in the before picture, and the periorbital wrinkles on both sides are dramatically reduced. But I thought the before picture smile might be slightly bigger than the after picture smile, so I swapped in a picture with a bigger smile than the before picture, and in this one, there's still a reduction in the eye area wrinkle length number and depth. This is the exact same picture with the bigger smile but just zoomed in on the right eye to show the wrinkle reduction around my eye. I'm especially thrilled to see the inner corner is smoother too. The nasal labial folds look less deep as well. Here's the other side zoomed in on the bigger smile picture. The inner corner looks improved on this eye too. So I feel like this has really really helped to reduce the wrinkles directly under my eyes, the ones that Botox really cannot get in there and treat. These last two pics are of my upper lip, nasal labial folds, and chin after 67 days of use. And back then I was impressed with the changes in my skin in all areas. Here's the same before with the five months after picture. I see even more improvement in those pesky chin wrinkles that drive me crazy and in my upper lip and nasal labial folds as well. I am pretty blown away by the results here. I think it looks great. I am really so, not that I can say I'm happy with my wrinkles, but I gotta say back over the summer, I was really like, oh, my crow's feet are getting so big. My under eye wrinkles are getting so big. Every time I smiled in a selfie, it's all I could see was the wrinkles under my eyes and in this area. And then, you know, this came along and now I really don't feel the same way. Like I take a big smiling selfie and I'm not like, ah, look at all the wrinkles under my eyes. So this is really gonna be a way to fight those wrinkles under the eye that you really can't get with anything else. I mean, how many times have people asked me for a recommendation for an eye cream that will take away their wrinkles? There's only so much that topical can do and you really need to get into something that's a little bit more heavy hitting. And if you're not into doing in-office treatments, you don't have $2,000 to spend on getting your face professionally lasered, then this is a really nice option. It takes a lot longer but over time you may be getting the same amount of energy delivered to your skin at home in a more comfortable environment without the downtime of doing a treatment and without that huge financial outlay of doing a treatment. So this can be a great solution for a lot of people. I'm really happy with the results I'm seeing around my eyes for my nasal labial folds, for the wrinkles here in the space between my lip and my nose and even these little guys on my chin. Obviously, it's not gonna make any of your wrinkles completely disappear, especially you know if your face is animated and you're smiling, it's not gonna erase 
your crow's feet, but anything that can reduce them a little bit is great in my book. I feel like I can see the difference every day. And if I can see the difference just with my naked eye, not even having to look at the you know before and after pictures, I can already tell it's working way before I do the final before and after pictures, then I know it's a good one and I know that I am super comfortable recommending it to you. My current discount code with Nira is for 15% off. It'll be good for seven days. So I'm putting this video up on Friday, February 10th of 2023. On the 18th, it will automatically go down to 10%. So those of you who bought it 50%, even if you're still waiting, I think, you know, you probably did good because you're getting it for 50% off, but I don't see them uh, giving a code like that in the near future. So seven days for 15% off, then it's gonna drop down to 10% off after that. If you go to the website, you'll see a banner announcing that they're sold out. At that time, if you choose to purchase, you'll get the 15% off if you use the link in the info box below the video. Or if you decide not to purchase and you wanna just be put on the mailing list, you can then get 10% off with my link after the seven days are over, but it'll only be 15% off from now until the end of the day on the 17th. On the 18th, it will automatically revert to 10%. If another occasion comes up in the future where they give me a bigger discount code, I will gladly let you guys know, but that's where we stand with it today. So that is my full review on the Nira at home laser. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.